In the Far East there used to live a rich and powerful emperor. In all the courts of the world they used to sing the praises of his kingdom, of his palaces, of his wisdom. But the bards and minstrels who travelled from castle to castle sang above all of his immense wealth. The jewels alone in his diadem could support a city, they used to declaim. As always happens, all of this provoked the envy and the greed of other kings and other peoples. Some tribes of fierce and violent barbarians gathered on the frontier and invaded the kingdom. No one succeeded in stopping them. The emperor decided to find refuge among the faithful tribes who were living in the mountains beyond the terrible desert. One night, he left the imperial palace accompanied by a small caravan which carried his fabulous treasure of gold bars, jewels and precious stones. To hasten his march, he was accompanied only by select guards and his pages, who had sworn their absolute fidelity even to death. The track across the desert snaked between sand dunes scorched by the sun narrow passageways and steep inclines, a track known only to a few. Halfway along the journey, while they were climbing up an icy slope, exhausted by fatigue and the slippery surface of the rocks, some of the camels in the caravan collapsed, gasping for breath and did not rise again. The strong boxes they were carrying rolled down the sides of the dune, turned over and scattered all their contents of coins, jewels and precious stones which slipped down among the rocks and the sand. The sovereign was unable to slow down. The enemy was probably already aware of his flight. With a gesture which was both a sign of displeasure and of generosity, he invited his pages and the guards to pick up what precious stones they could manage to gather together and to take them with them. A handful of those precious objects would make them rich for the rest of their lives. While the young men eagerly threw themselves on the precious spoils and scrambled anxiously in the sand and among the stones, the sovereign continued his journey through the desert. However, he became aware that someone was continuing to walk behind him. He turned round and saw that it was one of his pages who was following him panting and perspiring. And you? he asked. Didn't you stop to collect anything? The young man looked at him calmly with a gaze full of dignity and pride and replied, No sire, I follow my king. <laughs>